Now the next model I'd like to look at is uh, number 433 in the Corgi line and it was the Volkswagen delivery van. Came into the line in 1962 and was withdrawn in 1965. And quite typical of the delivery vans. I can remember a fellow around here delivering bread in one of these for years, door to door. They really caught the look of the Volkswagen. Of course, it's got the windows, it's got vacuum formed interior, and the silvery gray plastic steering wheel. Spring suspension, Corgi Toys Volkswagen, made in Great Britain, and a patent applied for, um, can't read it, probably the spring suspension. They all seem to carry that patent for a long time. Red and white is quite attractive, and I always thought that they uh, used this van to make the Volkswagen Combi, the window van, but actually uh, they came, came out almost simultaneously. Actually they did, so they were two separate models, two separate castings. And that'll be my next uh, little review here, Volkswagen Combi. It came out in 62, and it lasted one year longer than the delivery van. 1966 it was withdrawn. But they caught the look of this one really well too. It's a full piece in there of uh, one, it's got three seats, two bench seats in the back and uh, seats in the front, plastic steering wheel, windows, um, spring suspension, again just Corgi Toys Volkswagen made in Great Britain and the spring suspension patent. It's a very attractive vehicle. And again, a lot of these were on the road years ago. Now the next van here is a uh, Another Volkswagen panel van. This one was kind of special when it came out. It had uh, was the first model to use the uh, Transalite headlights. And it was just a uh, the light entered the top there. And those were highly polished tubes that ran down and into the headlight holes there <clears throat> and carried the light. Just like fiber optics actually. And again it had the vacuum formed interior, silver plastic steering wheel, spring suspension, and chocolate Tobler and Toblerone decals on the sides. That was number 441 in the series and quite popular. <clears throat> of course the Transalite went on for a while in different models. I knew it was in the uh, Rover. They did a Rover with it and 
Buick Riviera. Also had Translate. That's two that I know of. I'm sure there was more. This one is uh, exceptionally attractive in that blue and those decals. And then with the added feature of the lights. It was really well done. Now the last one I'm going to show here is not actually a van. It's a the converted pickup version of the Volkswagen. And it was made into a racing car tendon, tender and came in a uh, gift set, a racing gift set originally. And then came by itself uh, towing a trailer with a, I believe, a Maserati open wheel weight racer on it. Again, it was well done and uh, some spare tires in the back. This is the only Corgi one. The other two were just tires I had that would fit into the slot here. Got a winch. Um, it's minus the hook, with the string. And you wind it up with this tire here. So the whole tailgate on this was removed to replace it with this unit here. And this plastic piece in the back, an insert, it opens up. And there's a whole array of tools in there. There's a drill, uh, box and wrenches, drill, mallet, ball peen hammer screwdriver, some little boxes, I'm not sure what they are. Over here is an oil can. And over here is some more things. Looks like a couple of batteries here, two or three batteries. <clears throat> so it's uh, quite a neat deal there. And the decal on the side Corgi Dog logo and Racing Club. Same on the other side. Vacuum formed interior, plastic steering wheel, Corgi Toys Volkswagen, same information. But it's a neat model, it's uh, really attractive and <clears throat> looks good on display with the race cars. So that's it for the Corgi Volkswagen vans and this one. I hope you enjoyed it.